Alrighty, welcome back boys and girls. It's your main math man, Mr. Shen, coming to you live from Mayfield. In this video, we're working on that Wicked Wednesday warm-up, which says this. It says Moses has a die and a quarter. Calculate the falling probabilities, and are these events dependent or independent? If so, why? And they're looking to find the probability of rolling a two and flipping a heads. So make sure you're seeing this. It says the events are not independent, or excuse me, they are independent because they do not affect each other's outcomes. Meaning the uh, die or a number cube is not gonna affect the outcome of a quarter. Because again, it, the sides do not change, the outcomes do not change, and so they will stay the same. So when we get to find a probability, we can say these are independent, so they're not gonna change each other. So we can say the probability of rolling a two on a die is going to be the number of twos that are on it divided by the number of sides. So there's going to be one side that has a two and there's going to be six total sides. Again, since these are independent, they don't affect each other. And so we say for pr the probability of heads, it's going to be the same idea. There's one side of the coin that has uh, heads on it and the other side, uh, there's two total sides. So again, to make sure that we multiply, because again, when we talk about probability and it means multiply, and so we're gonna say the probability of rolling a two and flipping a heads is gonna be the first probability, which is one over six, times the second probability, which is one over two. Again, make sure you multiply the numerators together, so we'll get one, and then you multiply the denominators together, so it'll be one over 12. So again, make sure that you can see why these are independent and how we get our probability. On the second one, it says, a store pays $25 for a video game. The percent of the markup is 80%. What is the selling price? So again, we're gonna have to uh, find a percent of a number. And so to do that, we have to say, all right, I have 80%, which is 0 0.8 times that original price. So that's going to be $25, so we do 0.8 times 25 is 20. So that's gonna be the amount of markups. So that's what we're increasing that price by. To find what the selling price is, again, you take the original price plus the amount of markup to get your new price. So very simply, you just have to add those two together. So we say our original price is 25, the markup is 20, which makes the new price 45. So make sure that you're seeing uh, how we do that. Again, since it's marked up, we know that it is going to be increasing the price.